All right, uh, we have uh, one uh, last tricky part to, to figure out here, and that is how to get the throwing arm to align here. We, what we need to do is have it at an angle, sitting uh, at this edge, on this edge, and uh, you know, kind of going off at an angle here. So let's go ahead and bring that in. Click on the Assemble button, and I'm going to bring in my throwing arm. And I'm going to just uh, set it down. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to align this edge of this little block with this edge of the throwing arm. And so that will get those in a line. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to this pull down menu. I'm going to go down here to edge. And since we don't really have a good way to attach um, this throwing arm to the body yet. We'll have to figure that out later with uh, what we'll do, how we'll attach that, but uh, uh, we'll go with this edge and um, we'll change this to edge again and we'll go to this edge of the throwing arm. And so that will align those two now we're going to hit the control and the alt button hold those two buttons down the control and the alt button hold those down click down hold down your middle mouse wheel and then you can lift and you can spin it all the way around I guess um, you can bring that down sorry I'm uh, having some issues here and then we'll let go of that and just to get it out of the way for a minute while we click on the top of this block and the underside of the throwing arm and now it's uh, wanting to give us uh, you know an angle here and I'm just going to click on this little white box and kind of pull that down closer to the uh, that little block there now you can do you can have this at any angle you want you can have it uh, up you can have it down I want to have mine resting a little bit more towards that little uh, stopper block there and uh, we'll hit the green check mark and there it is it's a uh, it's aligned and it's at an angle and uh, we're just about ready to go last thing uh, Kolb had a uh, a wheel right here to attach to a, a string or or whatever to pull this throwing arm down, get some tension on it, and then let it go. So we'll bring one more wheel and axle in, and we'll click on wheels and axles, and we'll set that guy down. And remember, click on the axle and the inside of this hole and then the inside of this part of the wheel right here that's red click on that and then the other side of this body right in here Boom. actually those wheels kinda add uh, quite a bit to it hit the green check mark um, adds a little uh, more character to it I guess uh, uh, we won't r worry about on the drawing here attaching a string and trying to draw something like that down to the axle but uh, you can see the axle is uh, right there in the middle and that's about all we have to do uh, if you would save this file and then um, if you want to mess around with changing the size of the wheels, if you want to try changing the throwing arm, um, very easy to do. If you need help with that, just let me know. Uh, we can we can change some of these parts. We can make it uh, uh, your own design, but I would like to see this saved because I'll have you upload it to my big campus and I can help you uh, help you do that. But uh, save this body here and then if you want to tinker around with another uh, another one, just go to File and save a copy and change the name to, you know, Cat2 or um, 
uh, whatever you want to call it. Just change the name and hit OK and then uh, you should be good to go. If you have any questions, by all means ask.